So the topic of today's lesson is short pitch shots, those tricky shots from around the green, from around about 20 to 40 yards. And we're gonna show you how with a simple alignment stick, you can really start to elevate your strike, and that's gonna help you get those really nice, flighted, spinny pitch shots uh, and get close to those strikes. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden. We're just short of the 16th green here, and we're using this green and sort of apron here to talk about some short pitch shots. And I've got a really good drill that you can do with an alignment stick, which is gonna give you some really good awareness as to what you do with your body, and in turn, how that affects the golf club and its delivery to the golf ball. Now, if you do like this video, um, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button before you leave. There is one at the end of the video, and there's also one in the description box down below. There's three videos coming each and every week, variety of topics from driver right through to putting, helping you play some better golf and work on your game and your golfing. So this type of situation um, really gives lots of golfers a lot of difficulty. We all see the fantastic golfers on TV. They hit these lovely, low-flighted, spinny pitch shots, and we'd love to be able to do that. And we're going to use a little exercise with an alignment stick to show you exactly what the body needs to do in order to increase the likelihood of that happening. So all you're going to need to do is grab an alignment stick, such as this one, and you're going to pop it in between your trousers and your belt such as this. Now you're probably standing there thinking, Chris, why on earth are you setting up with an alignment stick between your belt and your trousers? Well, it's really gonna highlight how the body changes through the motion, and then we're gonna link that to what the golf club does. So as I take my imaginary setup to this golf ball, imagine I've got a golf club in my, in my hands, you can see how the alignment stick is pointing out behind my heels. Now, if I was to move that alignment stick and point it in front of my toes, that would be this movement. So you can see here the alignment stick is now pointing in front of my toes. So what you'll see with these really elite golfers, with these beautiful pitch shots that we'd love to emulate, is they'll definitely start with that alignment stick behind the heels. And as they end their golf swing, as they go into their follow through position, you'll notice that the alignment stick is now pointing in front of my toes. So we've moved towards that extended position as we went through the hit. What you might find when you do this little exercise is you might find that you set up here, alignment sticks behind your heels, but as you find your follow through, it's still out behind your heels, or at least it hasn't moved out in front of your toes. And what that really indicates is that it indicates you're staying in what we call forward bend. The forward bend is effectively this movement here where we tip over. As I rotate, if I stay in forward bend, the alignment stick stays behind my heels. The best golfers in the world will have moved towards a condition of extension which allows that to point down in front of their toes. Now when we put the golf club back in, we can really start to see what effect that has. If I take my starting position in forward bend, if I rotate through and I stay in forward bend, the golf club stays very low to the ground. So it hasn't raised up a lot from where it was at setup. As we go towards this extension, I feel like I push my hips forwards, that raises the club into the air. Now, one of the really important things that we have to appreciate when hitting these pitch shots is the golf club's interaction with the ground is really important. Get that wrong and you're just never gonna ever hit those shots consistently and on the correct flight with the correct spin. So the interaction with the ground is really important. So as that golf club in its backswing, you will notice that in most of your cases and most pitchers, the club will move some amount into the air. If on the way down, it doesn't ever move back into the air because the body doesn't extend, that's when you're gonna find you get lots of ground contact. Or if you're trying to avoid the ground contact, you'll find that you're doing lots of kind of movement with your arms or you're flexing your elbows to try and raise the club away from the ground. And effectively, you're gonna spend your time hitting fats and thins and fats and thins with the odd decent strike because you're manually trying to work the club into the air with your arms, or very simply, the club's not working into the air at all, you're gonna thump the ground. So as we go through these pitch shots, what I'd love you to feel is as you're following, finding your follow through, you feel as if you're pushing your belt buckle out towards the target. And I feel as if my belt buckle is out in front of my toes. That's caused the club to raise into the air. If I go back into my forward bend, that would cause the club to be down on the ground. So even though this is a shot which I'm trying to hit maybe 30 yards, not a long shot. I'm still trying to use my pivot, still trying to use my body rotation to make sure that I find this nice end position. And what that's really ultimately doing is it's really helping the golf club interact with the ground in a really positive way to help us hit those shots that we want. So let's go ahead and hit one. A 
Okay, so there's my end position. Pretty low flight, quite a lot of spin at the end. And you can see there's my end position where the belt buckle is kind of out in front of my toes. There's my extended position. The club is raised into the air, but my arm structure is still maintained. So that would look very, very different to the golfer who maintains their forward bend and has to kind of flex the arms to get any kind of result. Uh, and as you can see, the result there was very, very different, so certainly not as good. So body motion in pitching is really important because it ultimately controls how the golf club is delivered and how it works through impact. And if we can really start to control that and how it interacts with the ground, your ball striking is gonna to go to the next level. And when your ball striking improves, suddenly your flight control gets better, your spin control gets better, your distance control gets better, and ultimately your proximity to the hole is gonna get less, shorter putts, and obviously that leads to just lower scores, more up and downs, and just more fun on the golf course. So get yourself an alignment stick, a few little rehearsals, get that feeling, bring the golf club back in, try to achieve the same position on the way through, and if you can do that, you'll hit some lovely, low-flighted, spinny pitch shots, helping you get closer to those flags. All right, thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff, as always, is below. There's a like button down there if you did like the video, and also the subscribe button down there. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you part of my channel. We can help you play some better golf and enjoy your time on the course just that little bit more. Thanks for watching.